So hello guys back to the next part of my video. If you watched the previous one you remember I had a problem with uh, booting up the PowerMac G5 after I upgraded it and tried to boot the disk in. So it seems like it, ha it had to be a RAM issue because after I moved the RAM a bit, just replaced the two slows, just moved them again, cleaned it a bit, seemed to start up. It might have been just dust, I don't know. It gave me some strange error codes like no RAM, incorrect RAM slow stuff like that so yeah that was a bit strange or just gave me nothing as you saw before in the previous video but yeah it started up now so I'm gonna start the installation of Ubuntu 16.04 now so let's start it up and put the disk in it should start up this time <coughs> There we have it. Let's see if it, uh, it's gonna start up the disk. It seems like it is. It should be fine this time. Yeah, there we go. So now let's see, can we boot up Ubuntu? Let's just start with help. Okay. Caps lock on, as usual. Video. Uh, what else the command? TV minus one. The, the live command for this might different depending on your GPU. That's the one I'll be using. I will be putting in the description. Not sure if you can even read it on the video itself, so I'll be putting that up in the description. You might need to actually go to the Ubuntu page about the Power PowerPC image and just check it out there to find out information. This is. That command you will be using for the FX5200 GeForce card. So let's load it up and see if that works. It's getting quite loud, the Power Mac. It's putting up the fans. Sure, can you read it? hear it, guys? The mic is a bit further away from it, so I'm not sure about that. It's going to take a bit to load, it's loading from a DVD drive and that DVD drive on the Pyramac is a bit old at this point, so it's not the greatest thing. So I was kind of happy it's a DVD drive, not a CD drive at the end. I'm not sure if they came with a CD drive, but if they did, oh, that would be awful. Yeah, it's getting quite loud now. <coughs> okay, blue screen. That's that's something, I guess. <laughs> try, uh, try to restore the focus on this. Just that, there we go, that's slightly better, I think. <laughs> oh, this is still loading anyway. It's getting louder and louder. I can nearly feel the fan from here. Should start up. Oh, there we go, fans are stopping now. I'm guessing it's loading up at this point, getting everything. Put up all the modules loaded. Yeah, yeah now it's quiet. There we go, black screen, and there we go. Something's happening. I can see the GPU acceleration. Well, maybe not as much as the acceleration. At least I got the full res immediately. I can see the image is sharp on this display. Just for you, those who wonder, that's a 1440 by 900 re resolution display. Just for those who want to know, that's the only type of monitors I have. 
for some reason I just have luck to buy the 1440x900 ones and I kind of like them, they're cheap the resolution is high enough, nice DPI on them usually I think it's a 22 inch or 19, maybe 19 inch I think it's 19 Anyway, here we have it, Lubuntu 16.04 on a Power Mac G5. Well, not fully yet, we need to install it and see if that works. But it shouldn't have problems if we got that far into life. See? So, let's start the installation anyway. It's a standard Lubuntu 16.04 installation, there's nothing special about it here. Same thing as if you boot it up on your normal PC. Loading, loading, loading. Well, anyway, the phones are quiet, so yeah. Yeah, standard stuff, nothing special here, anyway. Raise disk, yeah, go for dash. Mm, continue. type of keyboard do I have now? Can never remember. No, no, no. What type of well, did you have it? Oh this. Oh well. I think it's a what you call it? United States, yeah. I think yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's just go with it. Oh no, I oh, jeez. What about Dwarak keyboard? <laughs> jeez, I did that once before. That was awful. Normal, normal United States keyboard, please. Now, weak password as usual. <laughs> So yeah, here we have the file is copying now, it's installing. <laughs> I don't really see any of the what you call introduction thing for Lubuntu showing up. I'm not sure if it's just the fault of this thing. I mean even though the supporter is not the best support at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm gonna skip this bit for you guys. It's nothing special, just a normal installation, make the video slightly shorter. So the installation is over now. I'm gonna just restart it. We'll see if it boot up. <laughs> yeah, that takes a while. <laughs> like everything on this thing. So now the DVD drive is open, so we can take the disc out, close it, and just simply press enter. Let's go reboot the machine. So now we wait and see if that opens up. I mean, starts off, not open. 
So, Jesus. Let's switch now. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't know why it opened today. <laughs> I think it just wants another disc, I guess. Yeah, that's 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 something anyway. <laughs> Never had that before actually. Not sure what happened there. I'm just gonna close that off, but yeah, the Ubuntu 1604 is pretty up anyway. <laughs> Never seen that before. Just DVD drive opening randomly. <laughs> And here we go. Boot it up, working anyway. Perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. Okay guys, so thanks for watching anyway, I didn't uh, end this way to last video, just because I want to l leave it in suspensions for you guys, <laughs> yeah I actually got it fixed quite quickly last time, but I just decided like, hey, just leave it like that, just, just so it seems better at the end, <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching guys, I see you in the next video, in the next video I'll be pretty much just updating it, installing some packages, see what can we do with it. So yeah, see you in the next video, and remember to like it if you enjoyed it, and dislike it if you didn't like it, and subscribe for the next part and any other video I'll be making in the future, so thanks very much, and see you.